I found this Christmas tree wood decor at Pier 1 for $93. Let's recreate it using some Dollar Tree items. So first I grabbed three of these smaller Christmas trees that are on the stake and then three larger Christmas trees. Go ahead and put some heat on the back of the stake and it usually will just kind of pop right off. Then go ahead and grab some scrapbook paper. These came from a booklet. I believe they came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. I've had them for a while. Go ahead and start tracing the Christmas trees onto the back side of the scrapbook paper. Just make sure you do three larger ones of each color and then three smaller ones of each color of your scrapbook paper. Once you have those traced out, go ahead and just cut them right out. Then go ahead and grab some Mod Podge and just start painting that right onto the Christmas trees. I'm going to start off with the smaller ones. Once you have the Mod Podge placed down, go ahead and smooth that scrapbook paper right on top smooth it out with your fingers to make sure that there are no air bubbles and then allow that mod podge to completely dry now for this part i had some excess along the christmas trees use this method with discretion i'm not responsible for anything that you guys do but i did the fire method i've never done this before i was really nervous to do it but let me tell you it worked amazingly so you just use a lighter, start lighting off the excess, and it will literally stop once it hits the wooden Christmas tree. It will just go, go out automatically. And it just leaves you with this nice, close, and smooth finish. And since that Chris, those small Christmas trees had so much detail to them, there was just... I did, you could have just used a sanding block if you wanted to, but it was just so small and tight spaces. So I did the fire burning method and it worked really well. And for the larger ones, I just used my sanding block and just sanded off the excess along those. And then you wanna just apply some more Mod Podge over the scrapbook paper. This is just going to seal and protect the scrapbook paper. You wanna just allow that to completely dry as well. You then wanna grab 21 Jingle Blocks. You could also get these from Dollar Tree. First, I'm just gluing, hot gluing, three of them together. And I did six sets of this. Then just grab this Waverly Chalk Paint in the color plaster. However, you could use any chalk, white chalk paint or white acrylic paint. And just began painting those Jingle Blocks. This only required one coat, and then you wanna just allow that to dry. And then with the three extra Jenga blocks, go ahead and paint those as well. And once those Jenga blocks are dry, I just used a paper towel and some Waverly Antique Wax and just went over all of those Jenga blocks just with some light uh, brush strokes. You wanna make sure that some of the white is still kind of peeking through. So if you go a little too heavy with the antique wax, allow it to dry and then just go back over it with some more plaster chalk paints and just do some dry brush methods. Now let's go ahead and start gluing these Christmas trees together so that way it stays in place. And I'm just using hot glue to hold these together. You then just wanna grab those Jenga blocks place some hot glue on the bottom of the Christmas trees, and then just hot glue the Jenga block on the front and the back side of those Christmas trees. So that way it acts as a stand. And with those three extra Jenga blocks, I just wrote out Merry, Joy, and Peace. I just hand wrote it with some acrylic paints. And then you wanna grab some jute string, just kind of wrap it around the Christmas trees about two or three times tie off a bow in the front and then I like to just hot glue that bow in place to make sure it's not moving around anywhere and then grab a white bead you can actually find these at Dollar Tree um, but these I, I got from Amazon but I have seen the white ones at Dollar Tree uh, so just tie that onto one tail of the bow and then just hot glue that Jenga block saying on the end of the tail 
And here is all three of them together. They came out so amazing. And $93 compared to the probably less than $20, $20 that I spent to make this. I'm very proud of myself, but I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.